We're going to talk about something a little bit different today. Um, it's, it's funny, the perspective is often where the woman is looking for a visa coming out of the Philippines, which you'll get um, often from people who've got this disgruntled reasons, whatever they did. I mean, at the end of the day, I do know a lot of the guys have seen signs before they even got that far in a relationship. But today I'm going to talk about something very opposite. Um, it's where uh, guys have met women in the from the Philippines overseas, you know, li live with them in the US, live with them wherever. Um, age groups somewhere between 21 and 38, and then moved to the Philippines for a few years. Every single one of those relationships that I've come across has failed. Um, because the, the reality is, what happens is, the guys go to the Philippines and their perspective changes. And this sort of ties in with the MGTOW stuff as well. Because in the West, life is very structured whether you like it or not. Um, because you need somewhere to live, which means you work. If you get to work, you normally have a car. It, it, it's a cycle. And a lot of it is locked into a cycle of debt, which means that by the time you got everything paid off and got to where you are in life, a lot of life is past you. Um, this is why bypassing a lot of this junk, um, you can actually enjoy life. But what happens when a lot of guys go in the younger years to the Philippines is they were already married with somebody that was from the Philippines, gone to the Philippines, and the guy suddenly had a eureka moment. The eureka comes from the fact is women are everywhere and a lot of guys will say no no it's not the women that i've suddenly decided that the marriage isn't working or whatever i call liar, <laughs> I call liar. it it basically means your options have opened right up and as a single guy your cost of living is reduced as well that's another thing so from a MGTOW point of view it is often a better um environment because especially if you work online already because a lot of the guys develop it business online over a period of time um, but if you're doing that already and then move to the Philippines you can have a decent quality of life I mean I've got some friends that um, are doing English teaching and they're pretty select a lot of men even working like more than four hours a day but they're doing what they want to do in the West you struggle to do that because the cost of living is so high um, tied with things like commuting costs and everything everything revolves around work and the cost of living that you miss out on a lot of stuff in the philippines you can go and chill out and it's the same as like you can have a cheap house too expensive it's, there's something for every budget in the same way it's something for everybody's lifestyle at the same time the opportunities of meeting somebody that's laid back and into just chilling out is a lot easier and I know a lot of guys will say, oh yeah, but I never had any problems with um, uh, Western women and I'm you know, not MGTOW or whatever. You've just done the MGTOW stuff. And although you married a Filipina from the West, you've ditched her as soon as you've gone back to the Philippines and I can guarantee your next few relationships, which are very likely not to be committed relationships, are not gonna involve marriage, but they are all gonna be Filipinas. In, in, all, in essence, you've gone down the route of the opposite of what um, the green card, <laughs> uh, you, you're the opposite of the green card hunters because you've already got your visa and everything else. So the opposite of that is actually the women themselves and they're a major source. Um, beyond that, like I said, you've got the freedom, you've got the ability to travel easily, cheaply. Um, Developing things in the Philippines I find much easier as well because you're not sidetracked. Here in Spain I get sidetracked with dealing with bureaucracy and other bits and pieces which often take you off what you're supposed to be doing that day to go and do something else for somebody else. Um, in the Philippines I find that you can actually just disappear into the wilderness for six months and nobody will bother you. You know, um, it's a very chilled back, laid back environment. The fiber optic increase is also giving the Philippines a better uh, level playing field. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but the advantage you've got in the Philippines is because you have these different um, levels of life. You can live in a compound and a subdivision, etc., and it's secure. 
it's a nice area you don't have to look over the big wall at the outside but at the same time you can have just as much fun living in a poorer environment where people are more accessible more friendly etc etc overall um, it's a good environment for for guys I can't say as much for women because I, I'm not a woman so I can't give you that perspective but from a guy's point of view, yes. And I will say every single relationship I'm aware of, unless somebody can actually correct me on this, um, between 21 and 38 that have moved from the West after being married in the West and not spent any time in the Philippines has failed when they've gone to the Philippines. And it will use justification, we drifted apart, we want different things or anything else. No, it's the same as some of these guys that get married in the Philippines. When they set the relationship up it was all tied to the viewpoint from the west so when they eventually hook up with somebody and get in a relationship it's like best things best things in sliced bread and then they go there and some of these guys just got to go off the rails completely um so i just wanted to say you know be aware of that if you're if you're if you are a Filipina and got a foreign husband and looking to go to the Philippines, be aware, I don't know of any relationship that has lasted more than six months in the Philippines, to be honest. <laughs> um, even myself, I still get people trying to hit on me on a regular basis. But at the same time, a lot of the guys in that age group, you're still young. I mean, this is why I say people don't get married. You know, you haven't experienced life. How can you decide where you want to be in life until you've experienced enough to make that decision? The answer is you can't. This is why it's so easy to for things to change because that woman that you're attached to in the West um, may have been from a limited dynamic. And at the same time, once you move to the Philippines, women are accessible everywhere. Thanks for watching.